everybody and welcome to today's video. Today's video will be a wish list of what I would love to do to the farm, whether it's outside of the barn or inside of the barn, that will make it look a lot more nicer and be a lot more safer for all animals and the people combined. This would hopefully happen throughout the years or sooner if by chance I was able to win the lottery. It would be pretty sweet. So the first place that I would love to start would be outside of the barn because that's where all the horses will stay now that they don't really stay overnight inside the barn. The first place I would love to start is by the front paddock where I currently have Solo and hopefully in a week or two when the grass starts growing we could take the minis that are here in the back field and put them back in with him in the front field. So currently right now kind of near the gate at the corner of the paddock that I take Sol in and out of for trail rides. We have a pile of hay that we used to put on it to little skids and stuff for future if at all possible. What I would love to do is level out the ground there and build a cement pad. So this is what it currently looks right now. So what I would love to do and stuff, again, uh, level the ground off and do a cement pad. I would start right here at the corner of the paddock and go across to where the poles are. I'm probably about an inch off the fence so it's not quite touching it to give it a little bit more safety for the horses and stuff. To probably about an inch off of the, the chute. I'd love to have an open face at building kind of like Probably a lot like a wood shed so that it still gets a lot of air at it. But again, because we won't be having the tarp, it'll be safer for people who are walking by. Or with the winds that picking up a lot more, I also would have to be using the poles to keep the tarp down so that it won't spook the horses. Then I will show you kind of where the shoot is that has been in other videos. There's a spot that to be called our horseshoe. And that the people who used to live here before us had Clydesdales and they would pull a thick, kind of like a cement pad behind them or something very similar that kind of made a nice little horseshoe in there. In the middle, if it was ever feasible, I would love to build an indoor arena for my horses as well as any future horses, especially if my uh, job where I would love to become a professional horse trainer would be a lot more nicer and efficient to work on them there on the outside arena. So this is kind of what I was thinking about for the hay storage at the front paddock but made more out of wood and instead of a little throwaway probably the length of it would be a full open face door and yeah. So these are pictures of where I was just talking about that I would love to put the indoor arena. So this is the start of the shoot, no, well, one side of the shoot and the horseshoe goes to the back of the property around to right about there, so very nice big size. And right in the middle here is where I would love to build it and make it big enough to do um, so about driving training with the minis and jumping with Solo any future horses. But, um, one thing that I would love to do with horses in the future with training is training them to become a therapeutic riding horses. Some places that I've heard of have the horses that come at usually at a later age or they have a different training for different disciplines and stuff and they might not quite work out so what I would love to do is start at a younger age desensitizing them probably starting at the age of two and not work them slowly getting used to people walking on both sides of them because walking through different things so hopefully in the future there's not as much turnover for horses in the therapeutic riding um, another spot that I would love to do going in a different direction 
or the property here is on the south side of the barn, which I will show you now. And these are the two pictures of the spots that I would love to do some upgrading on. It does not look like this year round. Usually, probably the first couple of weeks after the snow falls, it does because a lot of it's frozen to the ground. That, but I will be doing a spring cleaning it video later at me fixing it all up. The first spot I would love to do is on this overhang that I'm blessed nice enough to build for the horses. Probably this is a hill and I would love to go from the barn to probably the edge of the hill for any runoff and do a cement so that I can do some grooming and do some bathing. That. Right now we do do bathing there but because it is the sand and stuff. I don't usually stay clean for very long in that area that, and it does make it hard to keep some of the brushes clean in between it doing the soap. Okay. Then here from the fence to the gate, I love to put a cement pad for our manure pile but it looks a little bit more organized and easier to clean it. Usually two times a year we have a big thing come in and then have everything taken away. And I would also love to do a little spot of any leftover hay, which again, it doesn't happen very often not to make it look a lot more tidier and more organized. And Next week, I will be doing a video of the different things that I would like to do with the inside of the barn. So thank you for watching and have a good day.